What up y'all, it's t -tar, and today we're looking at y'all's theories for Pokemon Legends EA. Let's go. Mega Stones equal Terra Crystals? <laughs> Hey, Titar, after watching your video about the Megastone's origins, I realized something. If the ultimate weapon created Megastones, would it not be logical for it to strike the middle of Paldia and create a bunch of Tropaguses and Crystals? So this is a common theory that circulated quickly into Scarlet and Violet's hype season because Spain is beside Kalos. There's a freaking hole in the middle of Spain. AZ fired a giant beam that crashed somewhere. Did AZ create the crater that is Area Zero? I don't think I've ever commented on this theory, have I? I know the games say that the crater is millions of years old through geological samples, but with all that energy, couldn't the samples be wrong? It would also explain the origins of Megastones, which would be the Stellar Terra Crystals, and the different kinds of crystals would be created based on the types of the Pokemon near them. They would later forge Megastones with the crystals and combine them differently to fit with different Pokemon so that they can Mega Evolve. Okay, we're gonna break this theory down into part one, part two. So about the samples being wrong, so this is when they check like the ground around area zero and they can date it and it goes back like 1 million or 2 million years. From the composition of the rock, I would date the cave's formation at 2 million years ago? While it could be possible that that dating is wrong, you kind of just got to believe the story as the ground. And since the story tells us that without a reason to doubt, that's probably what's right, that it dates back 1 to 2 million years. Okay, and then would it not be logical for AZ's weapon to have struck in Paldia Created Area Zero, a bunch of Tropaguses and Crystals. So you're saying Tropaguses are like Mega Evolution energy that took the form of this little turtle Pokemon with incredible power. It's such a fun idea, right? And especially when you look at the ultimate weapon, it's made all Terrastal. It looks like Terra Crystals are a byproduct of that and that Mega Evolution and Terrastals are linked and they're putting the games right beside each other so it could be a real fun plot twist for us to get in these games before this moment of legends a being announced i would say this is very unlikely because in my opinion game freak is going to be very resistant to the idea of crossing over the stories of multiple regions together and i still believe in that right now but legend z was such an interesting title for them to announce that we don't actually know what game freak's direction really is something like this could be possible but i would still put it as very unlikely i mean if i were to give you my actual answer right now i would say no but things can change if we come back to this video in a year knowing more about legends ea it could be possible i also like tropicus's origin being what was told to us that there are just a bunch of turtles i made a video on this that they're just a bunch of turtles that existed long ago and they got trapped in the earth and they became a treasure that got lost forever that's why they're the hidden treasure somewhere in area zero and that's a cool I don't know, poetic meaning to it. I like it a lot. So I like Tropicus not being related to Mega Evolution in that sense. But you did say something cool in the second part of this, which is Mega Evolution being made from Terrasto Crystals. So the other way around. So how they would find Terra Crystals in Paldia. And you see how in the video I made like two days ago, I was talking about how Mega Stones don't really make sense to be something that naturally occurred. Like if you look at the Tyranitar, right? It has the color specifically of Tyranitar. So I was saying it's like in some way the essence of a T-Tar is in that orb. And specifically a T-Tar. Not a Pupitar, not freaking some other rock type Pokemon. Of all the thousands of species on the earth, this orb, this Megastone looks exactly like a T-Tar. So I had a cool idea for how that could happen in that video, but you have a cool take too where they use the Terra Crystals to make the Megastone. So they were made by like human hands. This would also give them a reason to bring heat back into the game. Okay, so here's a statement here and I'm gonna give you my opinion. The story of heat is now gone. More specifically, I mean the story of what heat really saw in area zero that's the big mystery about him right i mean there's this dude and look at them eyes he saw something and we can't figure out what it was because there's a paradox going on i don't think heat in this context will be in this game where we get to like learn the mystery of what was in area zero heat could feature in legends ZA in a different way see we don't know much about heat right they say he was a historian we don't know if he was actually paldian so maybe what he did is someone who traveled to different regions initially and then he came to Paldia because he was studying history. Then he came to Paldia and he was so infatuated with Area Zero that he decided to make that expedition journey. So maybe what you could see in Legends EA is Heat 
pre-Area Zero. He's a historian still, so maybe he would still know the legend of Area Zero. He would know the Paulian King and his descendants that sent all these goons down to Area Zero to try to find the hidden treasure of Area Zero, which we can put a face to now. He would know this because he, he's a historian, but you might find him in Kalos interested in Kalos related stuff at the time. And that would be a real epic way and a realistic way Game Freak could bring Heath back into the game. But it would have to discount the whole connecting Terrastal to Mega Evolution idea because that's going to start closing Game Freak's books. Does it say where Heath is from? Oh, here we go. So Bubble Pity has him listed in Paldia, but his hometown is unknown. I don't think he's from Paldia. I don't think anything really suggests that. You could tell a cool story where he's traveling all the regions, and because he plays a core part of Paldia's history, that he stays there for a bit, writes the books, and maybe this is why nothing's written about him afterwards, because he just left. He left Paldia and he went to explore other regions. Damn it! <laughs> He being like a legendary figure at this point. I mean, everything I said in this video is just my speculation, but I do think it'd be cool if Heath was actually exploring all the regions. So you have this figure 200 years ago that technically would exist in any Legends game that forms for that period. So you'd have two figures that exist around 200 years ago. Heath and Volo. You could have Volo roaming as a reoccurring villain, and Heat appearing in various Legends games as just a reoccurring dude interested in the lore of that region. I gotta think more about it though, because Heat does have that cyclizer, which makes it sound like he was always in Paldia. Like, he did, it sounded like he brought a Pokemon from outside. Unless you just find cyclizards in Legends EA, <laughs> like they did used to hang out there, which isn't impossible, right? Kalos, there's a freaking strip of land connecting Kalos to Paldia. But yeah, in terms of whether AZ's weapon struck Paldia, I think it'd be smarter if it wasn't AZ's weapon that did it. I think it being just a natural thing that occurred, a crater hit Paldia, caused Torobagus all to go missing in there, is a smarter idea on Game Freak's end. But anyhow, y'all love me and your thoughts, shank that like button, do you think? Heat could show up on Pokemon Legends EA because they've given us a proper year to Heat's exploration 200 years ago and it lines up too perfectly with when this game seems like it's gonna take place. We gotta wait for the first trailers to tell. If y'all wanna send emos, it's right here and we'll talk about your ideas in a video. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.